For critics of Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro, this rally was another outrage, perhaps the most serious since coronavirus began. He spoke to supporters outside of the Brazilian army headquarters. Many of them called for Congress to be closed and even a military intervention to get their and his wish, an end to the quarantine measures imposed by many state governments. We don't want to negotiate anything. What we want is action for Brazil. He's desperate for people to get back to work, despite Brazil already having the highest rate of coronavirus cases in Latin America. 70% will be infected. If not today, then next week or next month. It's a reality. We have to take care of the elderly and those with health problems. The rest have to be careful but have to work. There's widespread opposition to that and to him. Uh, yesterday, there was uh, a, a movement of Brazilian government, governors. 20 out of 27 governors of Brazil, state governors, they have signed a document uh, in coming in defense of democracy and, of course, repudiating Bolsonaro's participation in that uh, demonstration. So that happened yesterday. And, uh, 20 out of 27. This is significant. There are more than 40,000 COVID cases in Brazil. Hospitals are stretched to the limit. This video shows one in the Amazonian city of Manaus, with bodies resting beside living patients. Even as the president spoke at the rally, he was coughing. He's angered many with his distaste for social distancing, but appearing with a crowd, some of whom called for the army to intervene and support him, brought wider condemnation. Brazil escaped military dictatorships only 35 years ago. The next day, the president seemed to make a U-turn. We don't need to close anything. What we have here is democracy and respect for the Brazilian constitution. But he still repeated his call for an end to quarantine measures in Brazil by next week. John Holman, Al Jazeera.